Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In the previous video we have seen the various methods used for orthographic projections and now today in this video we will start with the first example on orthographic projections. The link of the previous video is already provided in the description, you can go through it. So let us take the first example, this is the object which is given to us. Before starting the actual solution, there are certain points which you have to remember. So the first point you have to remember is, the arrow with label X always indicates the front view direction. So here in this question, this is the arrow and this is the label X. So this is our front view direction. Second point, identify which side view has to be drawn for the given question. So there are two side views possible. One is left hand side view, second is right hand side view. So for every question, you may not get the same side view again and again. So you have to understand it well before starting the solution, which side view has to be drawn. So as you can see here, in order to obtain side view for this question, you have to move towards the left. So here we will get the left hand side view in this question. Third point, calculate the total length, total weight and total height of the object. So this is the total length. In order to remember it, Clearly, you have to understand that whatever arrow of your front view direction is shown perpendicular to it is your length. Then parallel to it will be your width and the vertical dimension which is given in the question from bottom to top is your total height. So let's calculate this. So from this edge to this edge and from top this edge will be overlapped with this one so these two will be seen at the same place and this dimension is already specified in the question as 50 mm whereas from uh, this edge the remaining portion up to this corner is mentioned as 35 here so let's add them up 50 plus 35 gives us 85 now the width width is already given directly in a single dimension here that is 70 so width will be 70 mm Let's talk about the height. So this is the height and this is another portion which is given to us. So this starts from bottom up to the top surface. From this top surface again to the top end of the question. So let's add these values 20 plus 35 that is total height will be 55. Okay now starting with the actual solution. Keeping this data with us now before starting with the solution if nothing is mentioned in the question regarding which method of orthographic projection has to be used that is first angle method should be used or third angle method should be used then if nothing is mentioned by default you have to choose first angle projection method and according to first angle projection method we know front view is above top view is below it and left hand side view will be drawn on the right side of front view so let's start the solution you have to draw these two perpendicular lines like this let's specify the positions front view will be above and next to it will be your left hand side view on the right so this is your space where your left hand side view will be drawn next to it you will be having your front view and you will be having top view below it so this is the position I have specified. Now let us check can we draw the required front view and top view in this spaces. So as you can see here while viewing this object from the front you will see the two dimensions. So here length will be visible from front view and you will be having height also visible. I am doing one thing I am taking a distance from this origin on every side. So let us say I have taken 10 or 15 mm. You can decide any value you want. You have to take the same value on every side. So I have drawn this square now. As you can see this total length will be seen in front view and the height will be seen. So let us take this horizontal line and on this taking 85 and taking 55 just to make sure that there is a sufficient space here to accommodate our front view. So yes, we can draw it. The same thing you have to do on your page while drawing the solution. So you don't find any difficulty while completing your front view after taking certain steps. So this should be done at the start. Now 
drawing the actual line I am highlighting here the lines before I actually draw them here in order to have a clear understanding so this is the baseline which will be seen in front view and it should be drawn here so this is the first line of our front view then I have labeled it accordingly so here we have taken 85 but 85 is not given directly it has been split in two values 35 and 50 likewise I have written here because whatever numbers are given in whatever manner they are given the dimension should be represented accordingly then this is the corner and to this corner you have this line the height of this line is already mentioned here so let us draw it at this corner here taking 20 mm and completing it now what at the opposite end you can see this line so height of this is 55 so we have already traveled up to 20 so what you are going to do is from this 20 I have taken 35 so it cross checks that whatever out of box I have drawn is correct as I have reached the top of this front view so it is correct now this line so what is the dimension of this line it is mentioned here in the question that is 25 so from this corner you have to move in 25 mm and complete this line then you have to draw this line as it will be seen but while seeing it from the front this line and this line will be overlapped at the, at the same position so how much you have to travel down so the answer is 35 we already have this line drawn so you have to dark the line up to this point now completing this this line and this line will be overlapped again so you have to dark it here you have completed this two more lines are seen in this front view one is this one and second is this vertical one so how to draw it now the dimension of this line this line is already mentioned from the rightmost corner it is up to this corner it is 50 so either you can travel 25 forward from here or you can take 50 from this corner it's one and the same after completing this line you have reached this corner you have to draw this vertical line now so from here you will draw this line up to this mark you have completed your front view successfully this is how you have drawn your first view of the question now while looking this object from the top you will see two dimensions one will be the length and another will be the width so here what you have to do is you will use this horizontal projectors so this length is carried automatically downwards and you will use this width here as 70 mm and complete the box i have again made an outer box to in order to make sure that I can draw my top view in this space so there is sufficient space here we can complete the top view now this is the back edge so this back edge will be at this position you will dock it now you have to remember while drawing the front view it is preferable to start from the base and proceed in upward direction whereas while drawing the top view you start with the backmost edge and move forward so you are moving forward like this so you have to draw it downwards so this is the first edge of our top view then this is another edge that will be visible from top so here it will be on the rightmost like this and the dimension 70 mm here then this line this edge will be seen from top and the dimension is already mentioned here so I took a projector from front view and I just have to make it dark up to this projector so it's very simple now I don't have to calculate again and again with the help of projectors you can take the dimensions then this is 50 so this line will be also visible this edge will be visible so 50 is already taken in front view so I have taken a projector here and I'll take this line up to 35 so I have taken 35 I have darked it now what this line so this line is also seen and it is 
from this corner up to 25 so here you already have a projector up to 25 so just make it dark now remaining is this line which is also visible from top view so you have to make this dark now what something else will be seen from top as well so that is this line and this line so you have to complete these two lines and you have completed your top view in a successful manner this is how you have completed two views of the given question now you have to proceed to the third view of the question that is left hand side view what you have to do is you have to use the dimensions from these two views and using that you can complete the remaining view so I'm taking angle 45 degrees here and I'm using this projectors up to this inclined line that is 45 degree line and then taking them up so why angle is 45 let your curiosity be maintained for some more time so I've taken 45 degrees and I have taken this distance here so now what I have to do is in order to make this side view here this is the first baseline which will be seen and it will be seen at this location so let's start it then this vertical lines will be seen at 20 mm so we have already taken 20 here so I can take a projector from front view here and draw these two lines at opposite ends then while seeing from the side view this will also be visible the top edge so let's dark it then again when you are seeing from the left hand side view this line is also visible so it will be coming at this so what is the height that is 35 again already took here so taking a projector from here and then darking it up now what proceeding further so I have to draw this line in my side view drawing this line will require this distance and that distance is already taken 35 in the top view so I'm taking a projector from here and taking it up draw this vertical line this vertical line which is seen here is here at the end this one is the middle one here which is overlapped with this one and now you have to draw the two horizontal top ends like this so you have completed your side view as well so this is how it will be looking once you have completed it now as a standard practice what you have to do you have to distribute the given dimensions in each view so every view will be having certain dimensions given to it or shown to it but you have to make sure you are not repeating any dimension so I have shifted my 35 mm and 20 mm from here to this side view so there are certain dimensions given in side view some shown in front view and some shown in top view now the points which you have to remember observing this solution to draw front view length and height are used as you can see in this front view length and height are seen to draw top view length and width are used to draw side view any side view left or right width and height will be used so we have carried the width from here up to this and the height is taken from front view here like this common dimensions now what are the common dimensions between two views so length will be common for front view and top view as you can see length is visible in front view as well and top view as well so length is common for front view and top view now width so width will be coming common for top view and side view and height so height as you can see here it is common for your front view and side view now the important question why I have taken an angle 45 degree only now if you are curious enough take a pen and paper take a protector measure an angle which is not 45 degrees and try to transfer this dimension 70 mm on this side if you take this value other than 45 degrees 
let us say 30 degrees in this place so this line will be like this and whatever dimension you have taken here here you will get a value larger than that so the dimension is changing now if I say I am going to increase this value and I am taking 60 in place of 45 so the line will be having this much position so it will be located somewhere here because of that this dimension 70 mm will be reduced in this side view and in order to have the same value transferred here you have to keep this angle 45 degrees compulsorily this is the only angle which is not going to change the dimension and shift it as it is in the side view I hope it is very clear to all of you why 45 degrees is being used here hope you have enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe it thank you for watching